Welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. If your iPhone 15 is stuck in recovery mode, don't worry, we got you covered. Whether it happened during an iTunes update, or for no apparent reason, there are simple ways to fix it, and I'll guide you through them step by step. First, let's quickly understand why your iPhone might get stuck in recovery mode. It could happen if the cable gets disconnected during an update, if there are bugs or glitches in the software, or even due to hardware issues like problems with the CPU. Older devices are more prone to this, but even newer models like the iPhone 15 aren't immune. Now let's talk solutions. The first method you can try is a force restart. This is the go-to fix for most system glitches, and it's really easy to do. Click volume up button, then volume down, then press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. Once you see the logo, let go of the button and your phone should return to normal. If the force restart doesn't work, don't panic. It could be that the system is stuck in a way that button combinations can't fix. That's where Rayboot comes in handy. Rayboot is an amazing tool that lets you exit recovery mode with just one click. All you need to do is download the software onto your computer. It works on both Windows and Mac. Once installed, connect your iPhone to the computer. Open Rayboot and click Exit Recovery Mode. Within seconds, your phone will be back to normal. And the best part is, you won't lose any data. But what if exiting recovery mode isn't enough? Sometimes, your phone might need a system repair to fix deeper issues. Reboot has you covered here too. You can use the standard repair option to resolve system problems without erasing your data. Just go through the process will be okay. Your phone will be fixed by Rayboot and get out of recovery mode now. Another option is to use iTunes. You can connect your iPhone to your computer. Open iTunes and try updating or restoring your device. However, if your phone got stuck in recovery mode because of iTunes or during an update, I wouldn't recommend using it again, as it could make things worse or result in data loss. Reboot is a much safer and more efficient choice in this case. If none of these methods work, it might be a hardware issue, especially if your phone has been dropped or exposed to water. In this situation, I recommend reaching out to Apple support for professional help instead of trying DIY fixes. And that's it. Hopefully, one of these methods helps you get your iPhone out of recovery mode. If you found this guide useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.